You're watching Timberwolf's channel on YouTube.com. Oh! going to introduce my left or my right because they're out right now um, basically uh, what today's show is all about is uh, due to the fact that um, I don't know how I can put this um, the house that I live in the house that houses lucky couple effect productions and where I sleep at uh, recently caught fire now the reason why I'm down here right now is due to the fact that it was on the second floor um, it happened about uh, the tenth of this month uh, early morning if it wasn't for a passing well actually from my understanding it was a second floor apartment in the in that kitchen upstairs uh, set on the second floor now I live in a basement my landlord lives on the first floor he's not home right now I am the only one in this building whatsoever I live in the basement and uh, it happened about well I was I would estimate the fire started about 2 2 30 now a passing um, volunteer ambulance unit they didn't tell me which one uh, I couldn't tell you what it was from Conneaut Bill, Conneaut Lake, Conneaut Valley um, Gerard some somewhere because um, I know Cambridge Springs doesn't have an ambulance service anymore and Meadville's ambulance service is not volunteer but they were heading to the hospital at the time when they saw the flames coming out of the second floor apartment now this was about 245 when the fire department got the call to come out here now I don't wake up until 3 a.m. so I was just waking up when this fire was going on and uh, and nine times out of ten when I wake up at 3 I don't have to be at work until 6 I hit the snooze button because I do have an alarm here on my computer that'll wake me up and I'll sit there and I'll hit snooze I'll because I'll, I because when I first wake up I really don't want to get out of bed but anyway about five minutes to three they got here about 2 45 um, I was hearing somebody running up and down the stairs yelling and screaming pounding on the door upstairs say is there anybody in there is there anybody in there is anybody in there so I'm sitting there going what in the hell is going on and uh, I myself I didn't even know the place was on fire um, so I get up out of bed. I go up to my landlord's apartment, turn on the lights, walk out to his front door, and I see fire trucks sitting out. And, and I'm standing there in the door, and a fireman's walking by. He doesn't even notice me. But anyway, I see firemen, you know, going up the uh, driveway, and I'm sitting there thinking, I go. There must be a fire out back. Is, is one of my landlord's tool sheds on fire? You know, so I go from the front door to the back door. Open up the back door and there's a police officer sitting there. And he goes, sir, you need to leave the, the, the premises. And I go, why? You know, because I'm looking out beyond him. And it's like, 
trying to figure out where the fire is. He goes, because your house is on fire. And I, and I go, where? And he goes, upstairs. I sat there, I just cocked my head up like this, like, ah, shit. Now, it's winter time here in northwestern Pennsylvania. I wouldn't say I had the same stuff on, but I would say I'd had stuff like this on right now because I, I usually take off my shoes and socks. I lay down on my bed and I go to sleep while watching uh, y'all's YouTube vids and what have you. Not saying you're all boring, but I need some noise when I go to sleep. And when it stops, I wake up. Um, but anyway, I'm in my bare feet slippers and it's snowing outside well it's not really snowing to tell you it, there was snow on the ground but it's cold i go well can i at least go downstairs and get my shoes you know because i'm a pretty fast walker when i want to be because come on if i can make it from here to where i work at which is two and a half miles in 45 minutes up a hill i can get downstairs and upstairs down to here by in 10 seconds given my age but anyway i go out you know he goes no sir you can't go back in the building i leave the door open you know so i'm in the back of his patrol car and you know the firefighters are sitting there and they're asking me is there anybody who lives upstairs and i go yeah i tell him the person's name and i look over and his truck's not there so i figure well he's not there the fire started in his kitchen and I'll, and I'll get that in a second. Well, actually, I'll get that right now. Uh, the cause of the fire. We'll jump ahead a little, little bit here. The cause of the fire was an overloaded electrical socket. Now, if I'm looking upstairs where the main fire was, which is in the kitchen, there's only two windows in the kitchen. There's one that's facing out the back and one facing out the side, pretty close to each other. There is an air conditioner in the one that is plugged into one socket. And evidently, when I'm, you know, I did have film of this and I'm sorry, it, it didn't take uh, for some odd reason. You know, as I'm looking up through the roof, uh, it burnt up into the at, what, what should be the attic section, but uh, there's really no way up in there. It's just a crawl space up there. And this is how the passing by volunteer ambulance, ser ambulance service found out that we were on fire. But anyway, never ever, if you're going to have an air conditioning into one socket, don't put anything more into another socket. Because, like I said, when you get a socket, you got the upper one, lower one. If you got an air conditioner or something high in, you know, high in electricity, do not add any more sockets. There was an extension cord that was plugged in with that, and other items plugged on top, that, which caused the fire. Fortunately, the the person who lives on the second floor, um, he wasn't home. He was at his daughter's house. So basically, I had to leave this house, and I'm outside in pretty much my bare feet in my slippers, which really doesn't hold back the um, cold very well. So basically, there was fire, ambulance, and police there. And luckily, the police let me sit in the back of their car until the fire was put out. Uh, the uh, fire chief here of Meadville uh, then turned around and told me, it, you know, I would, I, I, I could escort you into your apartment, you know, for safety reasons to get some of your stuff and get out. We have American Red Cross coming in. Uh, they will help you out. I said, all right. Went downstairs, got my boots on. I mean, the fire chief here was really great. 
uh, he let me sit downstairs in my room here, and it's dark. Uh, all the electricity and all the gas was shut off. Everything was shut off. He allowed me to put my boots on, get a couple uh, days of clothing, and uh, some toiletries, and we were out. Unfortunately, I didn't take my video camera. Um, but the nice thing about it was that the fire department, when they came downstairs here to check, check to see if there was anybody down here, they covered up my uh, area here with my uh, computer and everything else. Now, upstairs on the second floor sustained heavy fire, smoke, and water damage. Uh, my landlord's part sustained water damage, and so did my area here. Like I said, unfortunately, I cannot sleep down here. I have to sleep in my landlord's apartment, but... We'll get to that in a minute. I was left, you know, after I left that, you know, after I got my stuff and got out, um, the fire department took me down to the fire station where I waited for the Red Cross. Uh, Red Cross came by, you know, gave me a voucher, not a voucher, but a, a credit card with uh, cash on it, took me out to a motel room, and uh, which was the Cono Lodge here in Meadville, out by 79. Now, I work all the way out by the fairgrounds. I had to take a personal, not a personal day, but a vacation day, you know, from work. So I got paid for that day. Um, But I spent three days out there, Wednesday from Wednesday the tenth until uh, Saturday morning the thirteenth of this month. We I well I had to stay out there until they said it was okay for me to be able to find out to find out if I, if I was able to come back here at all. Well, the fire marshal came by Thursday when I was at work. Um, I found out that my landlord's apartment was livable. The uh, third floor apartment is non-inhabitable uh, due to severe smoke and water damage and fire damage. The kitchen upstairs is completely gone. Um, all the rest of the house has smoke damage and uh, I did take video of all this. Unfortunately, when I tried to download it in my computer, it says it did not take. So it was like, dang it. <laughs> so I can't show you. I, I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to get you some video up there whenever I can. But anyway, the fire chief Toronto told me it's like, it's okay to come back to the apartment. But we do not want you sleeping in the basement or living in the basement. You can live on the first floor, but you cannot live in the basement. So I'm not really living in the basement right now. I'm living on the first floor of my landlord's apartment. Unfortunately, he's going to be back within the next two to three months. Where I'm going to live is unknown after that. But I was told by... Um, the senior apartment manager, apartments manager, since uh, my landlord has more than one place, um, he comes by. He says the fire chief is going to measure my area where I live at here to find out if it's possible to live down here because evidently I'm not allowed to live too close to um, the open heater, you know, that you're hearing in the background here and uh, <clears throat> excuse me and um, open water heaters which is just behind uh, my uh, computer here so that like I said within the next three months I don't know where I'm gonna live if I mean at all 
Uh, what I want to try to do is I want to try to move back down to Homestead, Pennsylvania. But I really would like to do that after I try to, to obtain funds through work. But if worse comes to worse, I don't like to ask for donations. But if you want to donate to me, you can donate to me on my Patreon. And we'll have that down at the bottom of the screen. My Kofi which I'll have down below, and uh, my um, GoFundMe. Only if you want to do that, and you can, even though it says different things, if I have to, because all my landlord's apartments are filled, and really, um, a lot of his apartments are sleeping rooms, and I don't have, I have a lot of stuff. You know, like computers, clothing, stuff like that there. And an 8 by 10 room isn't going to do it. Uh, just to tell you the truth. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of froggy right now. Um, but all in all, I'm okay. I want to give a hearty thank you to that volunteer ambulance service that haven't been going by. If it wasn't for you guys... I would probably be dead. I have, you know, no doubt about it. Uh, either dead or trapped or in the hospital uh, with severe burns or something like that there. The fire department made quick. They did very quick. They, they kept it to the kitchen area and the, and the uh, second floor. But um, the uh, gas came on the following Thursday and the electric following Friday. I came home just this last Saturday because I wanted to make sure. <coughs> like I said, sorry, I'm like froggy in the throat, but it's, you know, it's a lot for me. But anyway, I wanted to wait at least 24 hours before I came back home here. Um, so, yes, I'm still here. I'm, I mean, most of the water damage came through here, what came through our kitchen here. And uh, it's. Well, I can say that a basement is livable. But, you know, like I said, I'm living in my landlord's apartment. He's going to be coming back in a few months. And if the fire chief says that the basement cannot be made livable for, for uh, a room purpose, then I'm going to have to go. Um, and if that happens, I'll be asking for donations to help me get the hell out of here. I didn't really want to move until the spring of next year because due to, well, basically, it's not that I don't like northwestern Pennsylvania. It's not profitable for me. Well, not really profitable. But, well, you could say that because due to the fact that I sell Avon, um, I've only got like one customer here right now besides myself. Um, I'm a minister, for those of you who don't know. I've been a minister for almost three years now, and uh, nothing here for ministry uh, as far as weddings, baptisms, and uh, funerals. I'm really only doing funerals, but if I have to, I will. But basically, you know, weddings, because a lot of it is uh, SSI and SSD people who like to live together but don't want to get married because they're afraid to get their uh, checks cut. Um, like I said, Avon, and of course, uh, Lucky Puppet Fact Productions, I want to do animated advertisements, and a business like that here, especially when there's really no businesses here that really need an animated advertisement, is absolutely absurd, and of course, there's a personal reason. Uh, my parents are buried in Homestead, and if I had, you know, this fire was just a kick in the ass. Um, in case I die, I would like to be buried next to my parents. So they live in homes. Well, they don't live there. They're buried in Homestead. So that's the reason why I want to go. And um, I wanted to take this full year to try to get money up. But if need be, I'll let you guys know. But if you still want to contribute, I will have my Kofi, my patreon my um go fund me down below but 
what I want to do on this show here, and we're 19 minutes in, is I wanted to thank the um, first responders. And I want to do it in a special way. I want That's why I got my animated people out all over the place. So here's my little animated thank you to all those who have helped in the fire. We would like to thank the city of Meadville Police for letting Joe sit in the back of their police car to keep warm while the fire was being put out. To thank Meadville Ambulance Service for being there in case someone got hurt. Thank you, Meadville Central Fire Station, for putting the fire out quickly and letting Joe stay there until the Red Cross arrived. Thanks also to all the volunteer fire dept who assisted at the fire. Okay, now that's my little animated thank you to to the uh, Meadville Police Department, uh, Meadville Ambulance Service, and the City of Meadville Volunteer. Well. Meville Central Station and all the volunteers who helped out at the fire. Um, but like I said before, I want to give a personal thank you to uh, the ambulance service. I'm not sure. The volunteer ambulance service that was going up through. Uh, my personal thank you for spotting the fire and turning it in real quickly. I also want to give a thank you out to the American Red Cross. Uh, who, without them, um, I would have spent three days out in the snow. Um, so please, support your American Red Cross. Um, give donations and what have you. This will probably conclude uh, this show here. I will be bringing you updates on, you know, what's been going on, what's happening. Uh, uh, instead of taking videos, because I took videos around the house here, and they didn't seem to take uh, for some odd reason. So instead of taking videos, I'm going to be taking pictures of the upstairs, uh, third floor fire, um, <clears throat> or second floor fire, excuse me. Um, but like I said, uh, if you want to, you know, I'm not really asking for donations. I really don't want want you to donate unless you really want to um but i thank you ahead of time but um it's going to be at least two to three months before i find out what's going on and i want to be prepared um during these few months i'm going to be going through my stuff throwing away stuff uh and stuff like that there um if now I now I know I said I would never smoke on video, but you know, sorry guys. <laughs> this week has just had me freaking bonkers. Especially when you're in a hotel room and you're away from your internet for three freaking days. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, um. Like I said, um, I'm not really 100% sure. I mean, I would like to maintain the money myself through where I work. Uh, try to save up that way to move. But, if worse comes to worse, you know, um, I'm not asking, I'm not begging. You guys can donate if you want to. You can donate to one of the items down on the screen. It may say, uh, like my Kofi um, animations, uh, my um, GoFundMe, which will say equipment. I may need to switch that up in a hurry, uh, but I'll let you know. But if you want to donate, you can if you want to. I'm not asking, I'm not begging. You know, because I know when people see this video, it's like, how can I help? How can I help? You know, I don't want to get all these, you know, um, <clears throat> um, questions saying, how can we help you? How can we help you? How can we send you money? How can we do this? How can we do that? You know, um, also, I was 
planning on bringing back up my uh, Minister Lucky's uh, Patreon. I'm going to be doing that sometime soon as well. Um, I just, you know, it, I'm, I'm in a position where I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, I will still, as long as I'm here, uh, be doing animations and I will be bringing you guys updates on what's going on. So, but like I said, if you, you know, want to donate and what have you, I'll have everything down below here. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know what's what happened, what's going on. Uh, I'm okay for the time being. So, uh, as, as a matter of fact, the Red Cross just called me a while ago asking me if I needed anything. It's like, Man, I'll let you know, but I'm fine for the next maybe three months. So, um, this is Joe Timberwolf Lucky saying, I hope you guys have a I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. Um, you know I didn't. But, um, <clears throat> ugh. Need a drink. Ah, oh, drink. Ah, that's better. I'm sounding a lot better, too, now. Um, but, uh, I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. Um, I'm I hope you guys are having a great uh, week, um, and I'll try to put more content up. Uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm sorry that I didn't do a. I didn't sing this time around. Sorry. Um, like was told in the last timber time, but uh, accidents do happen, and um, like I said, my hair's out of place and everything else, and. Oh, it's just been a trying a few, very trying few days, and um, thanks for watching, and uh, stay safe.